Back in the day, there was this weird disease known as GRID, the gay-related immune deficiency, which you know is renamed HIV AIDS. Okay, back then in the 80s, people don't remember this, but I mean, it's a, it's a terrible disease, but back then it had a 100% fatality rate. Back then, everyone with AIDS suffered, but not equally. I mean, some people suffered more than others, depending on your race, your class, your access to, to healthcare, your strata in society. Some people suffered more than others. I mean, with AIDS, sure, we were all in the same boat together, just not all on the same deck. And that's how climate change works. So our ancestors had to act up. They were young people, college students, you know, not much older than many of you. They had to organize. They got in the face of public officials and demanded that they put some attention on this. And they had to do something very powerful. They had to break the collective silence because nobody was talking about HIV AIDS. So they're like, we got to break through to the public. So they're like, we'll tell stories and we'll do films and music and, and ribbons and quilts. I mean, we're gay, right? Whatever it takes, you know, get the word out, right? And in a very short time, they changed laws, policies, systems. The relationship we have with our doctors today have been altered because of the work they did. How they test drugs is different today because of what they did. They did amazing things. I think there's some really powerful, helpful lessons we can learn from our ancestors that we could apply today.